Welcome back to Power Pro Wrestling, the UWF World Tag Team Championship on the line, the Lightning Express, defending against the Jive Toast, Jim Ross, along with Michael P.S. Hayes. Michael, welcome. Thank you, Jim. Good to be here. This is going to be a hell of a match right here for all the fans. They're starting at the beginning. It's a UWF Tag Team Championship match, and you know that's a 60-minute time limit. This way the fans get to see the entirety of the match. And I'll tell you something about the Jive Tones. Their tone may be Jive, but Eddie Kendricks, David Ruffin, and Melvin Franklin are the Temptations, they ain't. Well, I'll tell you something. They are a, they're a team that I think certainly has to be reckoned with because they travel together constantly. They know each other's moves very, very well. And I think we're going to see the Lightning Express in for one of the toughest matches of their career. And the fans here in the UWF, certainly not uh, in the corner of the Jive Club. Well, I agree with you there, Jim Ross. They both, Tiger Conway Jr., and Shaska Whiteley have both proven themselves as single competitors, and uh, they're both going to be a formidable tag team. As you say, traveling together makes the whole world a difference when you live, eat, and breathe it all at the same time together. Just like the Lightning Express, these young kids, they've, they've, they've reached every every goal that they've attained for themselves when they got the world championships, and then they've met every challenge since then. Tiger backing Brad Armstrong into the corner. They reversed it there a few moments. Referee trying to keep this one from popping wide open right here because we saw just a few weeks ago the, the cane that they used as to come to the ring as part of their, their, their ensemble broken over the head of Brad Armstrong in a match on Power Pro Wrestling. So there's a lot of animosity here in addition to the championship being on the line. Sure is, and that was a good move by Con Tiger Conway Jr. with the head scissors and uh, Armstrong kicked out reversed out of it good moves going on right here quick tag to Tim Horner and that's why they call him Lightning Express Lightning quick tags keep a fresh man in good lateral body press and did have the leg hooked almost a quick pin referee Randy Anderson down for the two count and there'll be great UWF action I hope you fans will join us just some of the places that the UWF will be traveling in the next few weeks the Oklahoma State Fair in Oklahoma City in Pittsburgh, also in Tulsa, Oklahoma, the Tulsa State Fair, Cleveland, Ohio, St. Louis, Denver, Dallas, back in New Orleans, Louisiana, all over this great land of ours. You'll see great action live in your hometown. Good move there, double drop down, Horner went over twice, hit behind him, good slam now, loading out with the drop kicks. And the jive tones may be heading back to the corner that they were singing on in Motown. Tim Horner, there's Tiger. Tiger's not too pleased with what's transpired, and you've got to keep an ever watchful eye on Shaska because he's a former three-time state amateur champion. That's a that's the that's a darndest thing. He knows how to wrestle. And very and, and every now and then you get to see that little spark of brilliance that he possesses. He'd rather street fight. Well, I tell you what, the, the name of this game is professionalism, and it's money, and it's bringing home that victory. And that's how you bring home the bank account big time. And it doesn't really matter how you get the job done. I definitely understand that train of thought. And one thing you got to watch about Shaska Watley and uh, Tiger Conway Jr. is the Jive Tones. They like to control the crowd, and they use it to their advantage. They may look like they're getting upset at the crowd, divert your attention, and bam, there they are. And Armstrong fighting off both of them. Horner in there with them, and they're having a standoff. The referee here has really got a challenge in front of him. In addition to being four athletes in the ring, he's got the World Tag Team Championship on the line. A lot of high stakes. And I think we're going to see some high stakes maneuvers, Michael, before this one's all said and done. I do, too. I, I already see some risky maneuvers this early in the match. Both teams taking big chances. I don't see this one going 60 minutes. Collar and elbow tie up. The side headlock, Brad Armstrong has it firmly secured on Shaska. Still to come, some great standby matches. And of course, this is time permitting. The Sheep Herders in a standby position. They made quite a debut here last week. You can't help but wonder, are they on the back of the minds of the Lightning Express? But this is no time to be thinking about the back of your mind. Exactly right. And we'll have the UWF Television, the World Television Championship. Terry Taylor defending against rookie Davey Haskins. We're going to hear from the first family, I understand, in the hour. Nice move by Shaska, but an even nicer move by Whoa. Brad Armstrong. Arm drop kick! Get yeah, Armstrong, arm drop kick! All the way from Marietta, Georgia, you can hear that one. And look at the poise, look at the poise. Not rushing the situation, knows he's got the ball game going his way. They're the champions, they have to be beat. They don't have to beat anybody. 
We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen, more of this tag team championship match. Back, ladies and gentlemen, here on Power Pro Wrestling, Jim Ross, along with Freebird Michael P.S. Hayes at ringside. Baby Eggs, slow down at all, Jim Ross. It certainly has at this one for the UWF World Tag Team Championship. This crowd is rabid, and this match has been as closely fought a tag team contest as we have seen in a long time here on Power Pro. Good snap, Mayor. Vertical body press. Cheska Wally with that big upper strength body powered out. You know something Jim Ross, Dr. Death said earlier that he really feels now what it's like to be on top with Devastation after him and Black Bart. And I got to see that these kids feel the same way since they've retained these belts and held on to them. Seeing people come after them, jumping from behind. And I noticed good high elevated oh. back job. I noticed that they're not hesitant to break the rules just as quick as anybody now fight fire with fire. That's what you got to do. I think it's come to that. And Tiger Conway, you talking about fire. He's fired up now. Good body slam. They seem to be going to work the back. Vertical body press didn't hook the leg, though. They're trying to separate one man from the herd, so to speak. Good side of package. We can have him right here. No. Boy, that's good counter wrestling. Now, the tag was made. Armstrong, the legal man, will come into the ring. Hate yep. to sound repetitious, but quick tags, Jim. Exactly right. And the double teaming tactics of the Lightning Express. Very effective there, but Tiger kicks out. Another side headlock. Armstrong looks like a racehorse in there. He and Horner are a great tag team combination, I tell you. Yes, with, they are. With Midnight Express, Rock and Roll Express, Taylor and Adam, uh, or excuse me, Taylor and Gilbert, Sting and Adams, and the list goes on and on, Michael, and you can name some, I'm sure, yourself. There's a lot of great tag teams standing in the wings, and we can't leave out the sheep herders. Boy, they're unorthodox, a little weird. Well, if you leave them out, then that's your fault, and Shaska Watley, good move there. Tyre Conway slung Brad into the ropes. He dropped down, Brad leaped over, and Watley grabbed the back of his hair and his feet blew out from under him and now they're seizing the moment they're starting to smell victory well, the, excuse me michael looks like what they're going to try to do now is to keep armstrong in the ring for now as long as they can now that they've got the upper hand and look where he's landed right in the corner of the shy tone he's on their side of the field now I didn't mean to call you Magnum T.A. Magnum's been out here with me on many occasions. Well, you're certainly not Missy Hyatt. And she's on vacation, and uh, Magnum T.A. is doing quite well, too, as my, I might add, at this point in time in his rehabilitation. It's always good to have Michael back at ringside. Well, there's only one P.S., but I tell you what, being compared to Magnum T.A. is not an insult. Don't worry about it. And now they're continuing to do it. Tiger Conway with Armstrong outside. They're putting Armstrong back in the ring, and Horner over there to interject himself a little bit, and he's a great partner, but what they're doing now with the referee out of the way is taking some, some cheap shots and some liberties on Brad Armstrong, the Marietta, Georgia youngster. Good block by Armstrong. No phase. Shaska Nova, that hard head. He couldn't hook the leg and Watley powered out. And Watley now with those thunderous headbutts, his head's like a battering ram. And once again, Armstrong, far from his corner, straight right over the top rope. And the Giant Tone smell victory here. And the big victory here would mean the World Tag Team Championship. Biggest victory in their career. Good double team in there. And I don't want to say good double teaming, but I've got to consider myself one of the masters at it. And the referee just cannot be in every place at every time, Jim Ross. He certainly can. We've had a lot of fans say, why don't they use two referees during these matches? It's, uh, you know, I don't have a, a reason why or why not. It just has not been done. Perhaps it will come to that someday. But until it does, we have to contend with the system. And the system is one official. That's it, Jim Ross. Just like the NFL replays, you can always second guess from the armchair quarterback seat. But the guys do a hell of a job. Another vertical body press. Still didn't hook the leg. I can't help but think he might have had it then. Armstrong has sustained a tremendous amount of punishment. If he wasn't in such tremendous condition, he'd have been a beaten man by now. Boy, he sure is. I've been in the gym with him a couple times when the kid can trade. We want to say hello to fans in Oklahoma City, watching on KAUT, also in Tulsa. On KOKI, Tulsa's leading independent television station, WPTT in Pittsburgh, KDNL in St. Louis, Texas 27 in the Metroplex, WGNO in New Orleans. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more of this championship matchup after you hear this from your television station.
Armstrong trying to fight back, but Tiger fighting right back on him. Jim Ross and Michael Hayes here on Power Pro Wrestling with the UWF World Tag Team Championship on the line. Flex. And Armstrong has been in the ring, Michael, for minutes and minutes. It must seem like an eternity to him. It's got to. He's close to the ropes. He got his foot up there. Look at Shaska sneaking in from the far side of the ring. The referee putting him out. Referee Randy Anderson doing a great job. Getting close to the tag here. Tiger Conway just way late. Horner, here comes Horner. And see, that's a diversional tactic. Here goes Armstrong over the top. The diversion works because Armstrong went flying. Exactly. We seen him flying the drop kicks. He just flew over the top rope all the way to concrete. He seen it. I've not seen it, Tim. See, that was a strategic move on the part of the dive tones. Don't think that was accidental to get the referee's back turned. And what a headbutt. Armstrong's got to make a tag. We could see the championship change right here. He's got to make a tag or we're going to see new champions. That's what I'm saying. Because I don't think any man, I don't care how great a condition you're in, and nobody's in better condition in this sport than Brad Armstrong. How much more can he take? But he's got one of the greatest fighting hearts in this sport. It's hereditary. He's a second-generation athlete. He's trying to get in. He's fighting back. Tiger with those big right hands. And now the elbow and Armstrong. I started to say, how could he even stay standing? He's there he standing. goes. He's moving. He could be making the tag. He got it. He, yeah. Armstrong made the tag. And Horner's in. It's fist and fire. And he's been waiting a long time for this. Quick moves. Both men are in there at the same time. And he's meeting them. Two hips off his two body slams. Lightning Express. Remember, it's Horner, the legal man in the ring. Referee trying to put Brad Armstrong out. Hey! Shaska Shaska. Arms, Shaska Shaska Horner's got Tiger pinned. Horner's got Tiger pinned. And Shaska just used that belt hey. right across the throat of Tim Horner. Hey! Referee's count, come on! Hey! He put the... Man, hey. what a travesty this is! Hey. He put the fucking... He put the belt... We, everybody here saw it! champions. Giantones thought they had one stolen there. Thanks to Michael Hayes and referee Tommy Gilbert. It didn't get done. Mike, we started talking here last week about Michael Hayes, the individual. There's a lot of challenges facing you, and you've heard every one you've ever set out for. Well, you know, that's right. I said last week, people are wondering, there's no problem with the Freebirds. It's just that all three of us had different goals right now. And the brothers that we are, we said to each, go ahead and do what you got to do. And that's like when the jab tones were passing just a minute ago, Shaska Wiley said, hey, you got a big mouth, Michael Hayes. And I said, yeah, but ain't nobody shut it up yet. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna shut it up yet. You got that jab tone? Yeah, I ran my mouth. And any time that you or Tiger Conway think you can't shut it up, come walk down the baddest street around, Daddy. All right, 